bit different to show you today. Um, I've got this planner, it's by Carpe Diem. It's Buffalo Check A5 planner. I've been wanting to get a planner ever since I've got the lights planner action inserts. Well, I've already got a planner, I should say, but one that's more suited to for black paper. So I thought this one was ideal when I saw it. This um, Buffalo Check the planner because this is the back of it and it tells you about what you've got in it. And just look at the inside. I just love that with those little dots there it's got gold ring binder mechanism 12 tab dividers there's the monthly layouts 12 overview pages 12 notes pages and 60 week to view pages so these are horizontal layout um, which I use vertical so I'm going to have to think about what to use this for but um, anyway, at least it all comes undated, apart from you've got the month there. Um, I'm not sure whether the week will have that or not. It doesn't look like it. I think it's just standard weeks. Um, but anyway, I can use these for next year, the monthly. And then you also get three sticker sheets. So I thought this was really good value. So what I'll do then is open up the box and show you what I've got in it. So I've got it out of the box. It's very heavy because it comes with all the inserts. I just love it already. I mean, look at this. So nice. Um, you get this gold little um, tag, Carpe Diem. I'm not sure whether I'll keep that on or put one of my own clips on. Um, I don't know about that. Um, let's have a look what's in it. First time for me doing this. So, wow. Yeah, you get bookmarks with it too. Um, this is brilliant. So these are all the inserts. And then this is the planner itself. I'll just bend that a bit so it sits better. So look at these pockets. Plenty of pockets to put um, stickers or whatever you're using for that day. And then look at this. I'll take this bit off the cardboard. And then here's the um, rings. So I'll just open up like this. A bit stiff that. Um, and then close like that. So look at that. And then you've got a pocket here, quite a big one right the way down there. Another pocket here. And then this is the back of it. So it's just absolutely beautiful. I love this. It's definitely going to go much better with um, my black inserts, blackout inserts. So this is the planner. Um, and now I'll just put that to the side while I get the inserts out. Hang on. I'll move that out of the way because... So I've got them out of the plastic, so I'm just going to um, I've moved them to the side so I can look at them one by one. So you've got these little bookmark things here, dividers, um, and it's got the rings with a little slit so it's easy to pull out. It's got today at the top, the ruler, so that's really nice, striped gold. And you've got a spotted one here with to do at the top and a ruler again. They're really handy to have as top dividers. And then you've got this um, clear bit of acetate, thick plastic, live love plan with the gold foiling. In fact, what I'm going to do is just put it kind of upside down so it keeps it in the right order. And to go with this is this thick piece, well, it's just standard piece of black card. And then underneath got hello this planner belongs to so I can write the name there so that's handy so yeah you keep it like that this is definitely going to go with my inserts oh and so next we've got some sticker sheets here so we've got some checklists um, nice little icons here some remembers to do appointments don't forget 
I love these the gold foiling. So it's the first lot of stickers. And then you've got these, some like heart stars. Oh, are these um, scales. I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably wrong there. So maybe not. Um, and then you've got little arrows here with tasks and stuff. Really like them too. Very nice. And then this is the last sticker sheet with little things like get stuff done. It's a beautiful day. Some gold foiling there too. So yeah, they're really good. I love them. Right, and then we get on to January divider. So we've got the tab there foiled, which is good. And then on the back is actually the month of January so if it was to use these again like for a different year um, I'd probably want to like maybe have put washi on it or put another piece of paper on it and hole punch it again just so I can reuse these um, and then there's this is the January month so it's all in order and then you've got a little spotted bit of paper there on the underneath so this is the overview and then it goes into the weeks so yeah they don't have the month on these weekly inserts but of course you've got the overview on the other side but then again it doesn't have the month on these so that's okay to use actually whichever month you want so I'll just flip through to the Jan February. These will be the same. Oh, so there's a notes bit at the back as well to um, put notes on for the month. Then you've got this February insert here. That um, gold foil tab here. And then on the back February there. So it's just going to run through the same as January this. Oh, and then there's some nice um, black and white spots there. And that's the inserts. And then March, we've got this one. And you've got some black and white stripes there. April, we've got this spotted one. Some grid there. Then May, nice black and white striped. And you've got black and white spots. It's a nice big black spots there. I like that check bit there. And this one is like that. Sorry if this is a bit boring going through, but if you're planning on getting this, it's good to see um, what the dividers are like because I haven't seen any videos of that. So I like this one that pattern, the diamonds and then it kind of repeats the um, patterns on those pages there and I think we've had this one before as well so I think every six months it must repeat and that one But I'm so excited to use these. It's going to just look really nice. Striped, I'm not sure if I've had that one. Probably have. But um, it's quite late here in the UK and I'm doing this now so I'm a bit tired. Um, definitely had this one before I like this one. This is the last one, December. 
and then and then it looks like you've got quite a lot of paper at the back so let's that's the end of the all of the months and weeks and then in here you've got lots of note pages then lined paper ah yes you've got I think it did say on the box you've got 12 lined paper and then you've got grid paper and then lastly you'll have got 12 blank pieces of note pages so that's brilliant I think it's really good value so obviously I won't need January right so I'll need these I'll sort these out need them the cover cover thing need the stickers so I won't need January through to August so I'll take all of this away so I've got a whole bunch of inserts to use for next year so yeah I don't need them but I do need August to December I'm not sure whether I'll keep these note pages in the back or not I think I'll probably put them in with um, stuff for next year so I think I'll add these into the planner And feel free if you want to just, um, now that you've seen the planner, if you want to stop watching, that's up to you. But what I'm going to do is put all of this stuff in and then I'm going to put in some of the blackout inserts as well to see how that looks. Right. I might speed up um, the video at this point actually to um, so that you're not watching the full thing. What I'm going to do is pause and um, get my blackout inserts now. Right, I've got all my inserts. So what I think I will do is add in July's um, cover sheet. Is ready for this week I'm going to be using white paper this week and probably next it's my eldest sister's birthday this week on Friday so I've got a kit in mind for that and then it's my mum's birthday on the Tuesday so I've got a kit in mind for that too and then um, that week is when my middle sister and nephews are coming up so that would be really good 
then you get into the blackout paper there. Right, so I think that's done. I can always add weekly inserts. Um, these are note pages. So I've took the note pages out of there, but I think I'll add these ones to the back. Um, these are monthlies. So what I was thinking is putting the um, October in and November. It also has year at, year at a glance at the beginning of this. But obviously I won't be using that because I'd rather use that at the start of a year. I use these for October and November. And then these I'll just um, put back in my other planner. And also I've got some tracker pages here. So I might start using one of these. But I think, uh, let's see. I'll put these at the back with the notes pages too. Right, so what I'll do is get on to October now. So instead of using these October monthly sheets, I'll put a clip of that together, my monthly here. And then of course, if I'm using November blackout monthly, it will have that page on that side. So what I'll have to do is transfer that one and clip it over to here with the other side here. And then January, um, sorry, December, I think I'll use a white monthly, white page monthly for more um, like snow and that type of thing. So on the back here, I'm going to add some tracker. and note pages. I just love these inserts. I've got silver printed. You can have white, gold or silver. And I just thought the silver's like kind of kind of like the white but it's more of a subtle grey kind of there. That's fine. Right, so yeah there's my planner done. I need to think about what I'm going to decorate in here now. But I'm very happy with this planner. I can't wait to decorate it for Halloween actually. Um, I'm getting some clips from the Honey Bee Shop so that will be great. So I've talked long enough. Um, I'll probably be zooming through lots of this. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you for watching um, me set up my... Carpe Diem, I think that's how you say it, planner, um, well partially set up anyway, so if you like this video click like and, um, and subscribe if you want to see any more of my content, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.